They say Penn State's a football school. Looks like it likes basketball too. Rockington. That's it. Penn State knocks off fourth leg Maryland. This game could help us in March. It's not going to punch our ticket, but it's definitely going to help us where we're trying to go. Up. Basket counts on a foul. Lamar knew it was his time. He had to make big shots for us. He became a dominant player. The Nittany Lions back inside the AP Top 25 for the first time since 1996. They're a top 20 team in the country. They've got a ton of offensive weapons. The buzz around the program is fantastic. Valley up. 1,000 points. It's a pretty special place. It's really a cathedral to me. It's pretty special to be able to coach there. Well, here comes Byron Jones. Bellabar, showtime, and Philadelphia. We have everything that we need. God willing, I think, you know, the sky's the limit for us. This is the Penn State Basketball Story, presented by Pepsi. Penn State looks to keep rolling on their home court as they take on the Crimson Tide from Alabama. Alabama has talent, but Penn State's got better depth and probably has faced better competition to this point. Penn State is very good at three-point field goal defense, but nobody shoots more threes than Alabama. We've got to do a great job and be disciplined in our closeouts. The best way to prevent threes is they don't take them. There's a lot of excitement around this Penn State basketball team. Against all the better teams on the schedule, Penn State has started really well. Yes. We'll see how they start today. A steal by Myron Jones to the bucket, slam dunk, two hands, Penn State leads 7-5. Stevens gets inside, left hand off the glass, puts the foul, and that's the game that Lamar Stevens is hoping to stick to. And Stevens, front end up, short, rebound Jones, taken away by Myron Jones, double clutches, basket counts on the foul. And a great ball fake. Backs him in, he's doubled there. Back to Curtis Jones for three. Go! Real nice pass out of the double team. Rockington passed it out of traffic. Three balls and rains down from Curtis Jones. Watkins pulls his way in. Basket counts on a foul. That looked like Mike Watkins right there. Up ahead, Curtis Jones. The track beat continues, and Penn State stops it with a bucket. Get it into Watkins, gives it back to Dredd. Three, ties the game! Miles Dredd on the bounce pass from Watkins. This is Stevens backing down Jones. Stevens and the shooters they've kind of put around him, Watkins being kind of an elite rim protector. I think they're pretty good on both sides of the ball. Stevens, Lane keeps on going, lays it up and in. Been a superstar here down the stretch. Penn State's a real quality team. They're going to be up in the top half of the Big Ten, in my opinion. They're good, and they really turned it up in the last eight minutes of the game, and that's where they won the game. Backdoor cut laid up by Jones and Good. Curtis Jones off the feet from the ball. Far corner, Rockington, good! Blocked by Rockets, picked up by Rockington. 73 to 71, the final here at State College. It's been a great run for this squad through the gauntlet of six games. It's been a heck of a month. I think we learned a lot about our team. We're gonna really grow from these last six games. Lamar Stevens played like a big time player. I thought he made really unselfish plays to get to uh, six assists. Lamar knew it was his time. He had to make big shots for us. Defensive end, his block shots. He became a dominant player the last four minutes. We're going to learn from this game so much. We'll get better, for sure. I know I'm going to get better. When I first picked up the ball, they were like, I got to do is put the ball in the basket. And in my head, I said, it couldn't be that bad. But once I actually started playing, it was that bad. And then it started getting easy. Again, slam dunk. The big man throws it down. Into Watkins alley open, and an exclamation point to open. 
He's only three points away from a thousand. I think we'll see that tonight. Hopefully he gets three points. Uh, I'm sure he will. Just the five years that we stuck with him and he stuck with us and he lived in the weight room and he lived in the gym and he fought through adversity and fought through some injuries. Um, it's just a, a great accomplishment for him. Wheeler to Watkins down low. Watkins gets some space and jams one home. Slam dunk, 999. Jones to Watkins, and there's the 1,000th career point for Big Mike. He becomes a 37th player in the history of Nittany Lion basketball to get 1,000 points. As of right now, he's only a few classes away from graduating. That's the true accomplishment, not the 1,000 points. That's all good stuff. But he's going to get a Penn State degree. That is an incredible victory. Getting 1,000 points and 800 rebounds, it's amazing. It's, 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 it's another milestone that I just so happened to achieve, and especially at Penn State. This is the Penn State Basketball Story, presented by Pepsi. Lamar, you reset. I want you to either roll here or roll there. We'll refeed you. I like the eye. I'm going to do a little short floater. Let's go. I had the ball. Mm. He was trying to get it to you. It went off on you. Remember? We were down yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. So you guys got to do a better job down here before you get up there. Jamari eyeballed it, eyeballed it, eyeballed it. Doing a little stuff to get open. I got you. I got you. I got you, boy. I'm wearing a wire. I got you. Well, last year is definitely a gym where I just feel at home. It's pretty special to be able to coach there. It's really a cathedral to me because I grew up basically going there since I was single digits. I told my teammates how that Palestra game was probably the best game I ever like just in, in terms of the environment that I've ever played in my life. There's no doubt it's a charming place to play in. It's an old school gym, the lighting's not the best. It smells like a gym, if you know what that means. That's what you want. That's what it's all about. It's really cool just to have this opportunity to play in front of my family, friends, loved ones, and just people who have helped me get to this point in my life. Heading to Philly. Can't wait. You're heading back to Philly, man. We got Lamar Stevens here, Roman Catholic guy. Sir, Philly. Saw, saw Lamar Philly. Win, win a Catholic League championship in the plus year. Dunked on some hugs. It's going to be a great atmosphere, electric crowd. It's just going to be good to be home, back in front of the family and friends. take care of business. We have to take care of our home court, Palestra, BJC, we have to. This is a special environment, somewhere I always wanted to play as a kid, just watching Philly greats play. It's like Madison Square Garden, you know, to New York, and the Palestra is that to Philly. to the famed Palestra in Philadelphia, basketball on BTN. It's the place where you feel the history of the game more deeply than any other spot. You can't replicate it. The, the wood feels different, the smell is different, and it is hot in here today. Guys, this is our moment. I talk to you about moments all the time. This is our moment right now. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't look back. Don't compound the problem. One possession at a time, win that possession. That's what we got to do. You with me on this? Attitude on three, one, two, three. Palestra, unbelievable atmosphere. It is absolutely jammed for the Raptors. The arena is incredible. The setting's amazing. The great thing about this game, though, Stephen, is we have a tremendous matchup. Are you ready? The 
this is what the Big Ten's all about. Big games like this. Tip controlled by Penn State. Myra Jones steps back, takes the three. Good. Rocking, he drives baseline, goes by Garza, reverse layup good. And he makes his impact felt. Jones trying to get over Crater and he goes. Acrobatic. That's a heck of a move. Hey, those guys come out with energy no matter where they play. It's never been an easy game. I don't think it was any different. It's how they play all the time. Lundy gets it. And it's Lundy, the freshman. He'll try a three. Go! <laughs> Mangan can't get it to go. Garza tries to snare the board. Stevens knocks it away. Dread for three. Russ is a great place. A lot of energy. Doing a great job selling this thing out. We just got to get this win. Steal. Here comes Myron Jones. I have a follow bar. Showtime and going over. Oh, it's so loud in here. I don't think the players are to the whistle. Brockington again. Explosive score. So for Brock to step up and keep the ship afloat, I thought was was big for him, big for his confidence, and we need it. I knew I had to come and help the run that Iowa was making at the time. So, you know, it was definitely an extra level of aggressiveness. He made big time plays, and he's a big time player, though, so that's what I expect from him. Wheeler, down the floor, spins, feeds Lundy, bucket, reverse layup, goal, a spectacular play! Little English, a lot of English. Looked like he was in the old man YMCA league right there. Wheeler, near wing three by Curtis Jones. is good. He cuts the Iowa lead in half. Toussaint can't get it to go, but Garza can. Stevens, 50 pass down low, but Watkins had a block. Gets it back, puts it in, and draws the foul. Three ball, Curtis Jones, and Pinston retakes the lead. Toussaint weaving through, and Iowa retakes the lead. Oh, gets on the alley -oop. Second hoop of the game for Mike Watkins, but impeccable timing. I just saw, saw the ball go over my head, and just my, Mike just went up and got it. It was crazy. It was definitely an impressive play. Mike was calling for it a lot of the game, saying that that back side was open for the lob, and, I, and Miles listened and found him for it. The Philly native, Lamar Stevens, coming back home. And he said, this is my city. That Penn State wins it over Iowa at the Plus Rock. This was one of the better experiences I've had in Big Ten basketball in a long, long time. I think, you know, we have everything that we need. You know, God willing, I think, you know, the sky's the limit for us. It's just an amazing place to watch a game, to play a game, and to coach a game. And I feel like our guys understand that. Something special playing here. Look at this. That's all. They say Penn State's a football school. It looks like it likes basketball too. This is the Penn State basketball story, presented by Pepsi. It's 1-1. One, one. It is 1-1. One, one. One, one. Hey! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! I saw that light.
an exciting, exhilarating game at the Plaster in Philadelphia. You go right back to work, and the Nittany Lion basketball team has another big game here at the Rack in Piscataway, taking on Rutgers, which has not lost a game in the building this season. Since I've been doing it, there's never been this many good teams in this league. This is going to be a really good game. Just like Saturday, sold out. Far wing dread. Inside, it's Watkins. Watkins backs it on Johnson. Wheels right, window Screen. good. Oh, that was a great play by Watkins. Screen from Watkins. Far wing keeps going to the elbow. Watkins double clutches, lays it in. He cut Johnson off his feet. Boy, he moved well without the ball that time, didn't he? Far wing drives on Watkins. Blocked by Watkins, pulled down by Lundy. Now the U. Watkins top for the slam. So much for the press. Nice execution by Penn State. They were ready for the press. Back to Harper for three to tie. No way. Rebound by Wheeler. One out. Wheeler. A run run for Watkins. And Mike Watkins slam dunk two hands. It was the rare four on nine break. Yeah. Penn State to the locker room with a 33-28 halftime lead. One, two, three, four, two. Yaboa to his right on Stevens, backs him in, backs him in, wheels left, fades away, bad shot, pulled down by Stevens. That was really good by Lamar. Lamar, three on three, all the way to the bucket, lays it in, and Penn State retakes the lead. That's Lamar Stevens. Far corner, Stevens. Stevens out of the Matchup, corner. it's a great matchup. Up of the jumper, got it, basket counts on a foul. Iron Jones to the far way, cut off, he'll take the three, knock! with the ball driving, faking, and laying it in. Boy, that was pretty. Sophomore Byron Jones, eight points. One score, and he's got it. How about eight points and three possessions for Jones? Byron near wing, keeps on going, fires it up again, knocks it down again, and the Nittany Lions retake the lead. That's ten in a row for him, Jet. Byron Jones, red hot. I want to give uh, credit to Rutgers. I thought they played really well. They have a good, they have a very good basketball team. The Big Ten is an absolute beast this year. And, and we know going on the road, it's going to be very difficult. We'll learn from this. We'll watch film. We'll get up tomorrow and we'll get better. We got to be ready to go. We got to put this behind us, just like Iowa. Put it behind you. Rutgers tonight, we got to put it behind us.